Welcome to Fancy Smack Talk. I'm Dustin, this is Nanko, one of our favorite shows. This is our sleeper slash undervalued show. They're not all sleepers, undervalued. Remember That's the that. Key. Remember that. Before we get into it, our games are up on their on the site. Chance to win some sweet FST shirts. Also, we got our friends over at boxbreakings.com. Every week, a weekly winner will get uh, entered into a special FST box break. If you're not sure what that is, go to their site, check it out. It tells you all about it. It's very cool. All right, we're going to start off with Matt Ryan. Now, he's not necessarily a sleeper because he's a household name, but where he's where you can get him in drafts, we really like. He might be able to step it up to that elite quarterback level this year, and he plays great in domes. It's been well documented. He's got 12 games in a dome this year. We absolutely love Matt Ryan. Next, we got oh, Mr. Uh, this next, we got a guy where Dustin has a picture of him that says, To Dustin, hugs and kisses, Timmy. That's how, but Dustin wrote it. It's a little weird. It's not quite to that level, but I, I love taking a gamble on Tim Tebow this year. You He's going to go so late in the him. draft. He can be your quarterback two with the potential of being a quarterback one. I think it's a great move. Six rushing touchdowns last year. Look at how he finished his last two games when he was the starter. He played great. If they ship Kyle Orton out of town, do not be afraid to draft Tebow in the later rounds. Yeah, and it's really not that bad of a move. His numbers were <laughs> sick whenever he got the time last year. All right, we're going to be talking about a running back now, and that's Ryan Grant. You know, James Starks really didn't show anything to us last year. He had one good game, and Grant fully expects to be the starter now. He's healthy again, and his last full season, he had a... Uh, 1,253 rushing yards and 11 rushing touchdowns. You can get this guy way too late. He's a great risk-reward type to play. Yeah, on that offense, how many points they're going to score again. Next, we got Santonio Holmes out there with the Jets right now. Even if he stays with the Jets, which has been well documented that he wants to, I think it's a great situation for him. Look for the Jets to throw enough to where Holmes is going to have value. But if he lands in the right situation, don't forget what he did with the Steelers before he left. I mean, this is a really talented receiver, and we've seen him ranked really low in a lot of rankings. If he lands in the right situation, we don't think top 10 wide receivers out of the question. Now it's time to talk about a rookie, and it's not A.J. Green. He's not on the sleeper list anywhere. Don't overdraft him. Little side note, it's actually Ryan Williams for the Cardinals. This Virginia Tech grad was you know, plagued by a hamstring injury last year down in college, down in Blacksburg, but his year before that, he had 1,600 rushing yards, 21 touchdowns. This guy's a beast. He's going to be at least getting the goal line for the Cardinals, and we fully expect him to take the starting job and run with it all year. Get it, run with it. <laughs> Next, we got Austin Collie. This guy was absolutely on fire at the beginning of last year. Then the concussions started popping up. Just really unfortunate that uh, that had to happen to him because he was on pace for a great year. But we expect him to come back and pick up where he left off. Pierre Garçon's still there, but we think Collie's going to be the number two target out there and look for him to be a big part of that Colts offense. All right, another rookie in this rookie running back. This time's for the Washington Redskins and Lou. Mike Shanahan moved up in the draft to grab him, so obviously he's got to like him for some reason, and he's been comparing him to a younger, faster version of Clinton Portis. Last we checked, when Portis was Shanahan, it worked out pretty well, so this is a guy worth getting late. Next, we got another receiver for you in Jacoby Ford. Averaged about 19 yards per catch last year as a rookie. Pretty impressive. He's a big play guy, and I don't even think it's unfair to compare him to Deshaun Jackson. Kind of the same style. This guy's lightning quick. And the Raiders could have a slightly better offense this year, so look for Ford to benefit with that as well. And it's been well documented with him that they're going to look to get him the ball a lot more in 2011. Next, we got a tight end, and that's Jimmy Graham. Whenever he took over the starting duties for the Saints, he played great. Drew Brees really looked for him, especially in the red zone. He's a tight end. You know, pass on all of those big-name guys and get Graham later. And when you're passing on him, you can load up with those running backs and receivers. And the last guy we're going to talk about for our sleepers undervalued is Mike Thomas. Love Brent him. and I actually really like this guy this year. He's entering his third year, which is always the, you know, what you look for in a receiver. Third year receivers team to tend to break out most more than any of the other years. 66 receptions, 820 yards last year. We fully expect him to be the number one receiver in Jacksonville, as you'll see in our busts and overvalued shows with Mike Sims Walker. Walker. Mike Thomas is ready to go. I know he's little. But we really think he's going to break out and have a decent year this year. So that's all of our sleepers and undervalued. Again, they're not all sleepers. Some of them are just undervalued. We think they're just going a little bit too late in drafts. But don't forget, check out our contest. Check out boxbreakings.com to see what that's going on. It's going to be a lot of fun. And also, don't forget about these fancy, fancy t-shirts. We got all the rankings and a whole bunch of stuff. Get in the forums. We'll grade your teams. 
I'm letting him close in it because he was rambling. That's it. Sleepers, watch out for the other videos. Later.